everyone it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I am back with another tutorial. So you will probably remember I have done two of the bonnet card tutorials and I don't know what's happened but I think at the moment it's just completely gone viral that um, hat card it is everywhere. So I thought what I would do today is Mother's Day will be coming up soon. What we're going to make is like a home decor piece and it's going to be three little bonnets which we will attach on some ribbon and then you can hang them on the wall. So I've already made two of them. This will be the bottom one, this will be the top one and then we've got one to make for the middle. Um, because I know there still is a few people who are struggling with putting it together but it's, re it's really simple you've just got to take your time so I keep getting asked this every day these are the dies that I bought they're from Surprise Creation I'll put the link now I do know AliExpress have got a lot of problems with the coronavirus so I don't know how long are you going to wait for them um, and other than that, I really don't know where you get any other large circle dies. But you can, if you've got a scan and cut or something like that, you can just do your own. Um, so I'm going to measure, again, I'll give you the measurements. Because this is different, we don't need to make an easel card, but this is still the same size that I used for the easel card. So... The hat base for this is five and a quarter. Then I am having a piece on the top which is four and a half inches and then the piece for the top of the hat is three and three eighths that's coming in at. Now you're going to need two of them because there's an easier way to put them together which I did tell you in the last video but I didn't show you and then the piece to make the hat I have cut this to 11 and 3 eighths by 2 inches and it's scored on the short side at half an inch on each side and that's all I need for the hat now I've scored them already at half an inch and I'm just going to take some scissors and then in the score pieces that we've got I am going to just start to cut in these little teeth that we need and just take your time because you do need them to be quite quite slim like the thinner they are the, the easier and the better it looks when it goes together just keep doing this all the way and you need to do it on both ends because one end we're going to put our circle for the for the top hat the other one we're going to glue straight onto the card so I'm going to do the exact same on the other side and then I will come back when that's done there we go it's done okay and then if you just kind of give it a bend round just to give it some shape now to do it the easy way take the circle that I said we needed two of which are identical and what we're going to do is we are going to glue it like this so our teeth go around the top of it okay it's gonna glue like that so because that will be the top of our hat so if you've got a paper with a direction I'd be wary 
I'm not really bothered about the direction of mine. So I'm going to take some glue. It's much easier this way. And then I'm going to put some just on. I'll zoom in a little bit so you might be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing. So I've just got some glue on there. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to start gluing the teeth over it, okay? Or you could lie it down that way, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. But we're just going to lie the teeth on the top. You don't have to be precise as long as it goes all the way into the side. And then all you want to keep doing it's just going around with some more glue and then again the same just keep sticking the teeth to the top and what you can also do is just put it down like this and then just press them round and that isn't that you know much quicker and much easier and then I'll show you in a minute so just get them stuck round there and just put it down just press them down And there you go you don't have any messing about that way and then obviously we need to put some glue on the edges whoops on the edges here just to glue the whole thing together oh glue one inside there, but it doesn't really matter Right, so that's, you've now got your shape <clears throat> ready. I'm just going to put a bit more glue in there. Right, so that's the basis of our hat. And then the piece that we're going to have for the top of our hat, which is here, will now just fit on, okay? And we don't have to worry about getting all of the teeth right. So I'll zoom this back out. I think you get what I mean now. And then you just want glue on. There we go, much easier. So this time I want to have my hat in the middle pink. So I am gonna just glue this in the middle. And then we just need glue on the bottom of our teeth. And then I've got some more of this ribbon. And I'm going to glue this round like I've done with the other two. 
So I'm just going to cut some of this off. And I'm going to use the Fabric Tac. This is amazing glue for ribbon and material and whatnot. Right, I've got the ribbon on and then I'm also going to tie a little bow for my hat and then I might just trim this ribbon right and it's just a case of decorating it so what i'm going to have is that's the bottom because i've got the little tails which i've put some little diamonds on i've stuck some ribbon behind it because then that will attach to here then we need another piece of ribbon for the top one so it's going to be like a beautiful little bonnet kind of wall hanging <clears throat> so i think while i decorate them i'll speed it up i've got my little embellishments like little roses I've just die cut three little leaves and I've also got some little crystal uh, gems and I'm going to use the best glue gun ever which is the little shoe bonder one it's brilliant for like detailed stuff because the little um, glue tip is tiny so we get cracking with this Now I need some more ribbon to, to work it out because as I said this is the bottom Then I want this one on the middle about there I think so I probably have to cut a bit more of this off I think it's a bit too long So I'm just going to put the glue on there and then I'm going to glue my other hat to this one and see, just glue that on there and then I need can probably use this scrappy bit and then if you really want to you know make it really professional you can get another circle the same size or a bit smaller and cover where the ribbons are completely which I probably will but not on this video because um, you know you know how to do it and because this will be for my mum for Mother's Day. I might also make myself one and that's not straight. I wanted it there. That's it. And then the last one will go just on the top. Just make sure <clears throat> They're all the same spacing and stuff. Now I think this is just an absolutely beautiful gift.
And then I also want a piece to tie and hang it. So I think what I'll do is I'm just going to kind of have it like this. So that's probably a bit too long. Put a little bit more off. And then this one will obviously go on the top so it can be hung on the wall. So I'm just going to stick this ribbon together first. Okay, just like that. And it's burning. And then this is going to go on here. Sorry, the uh, battery ran out there. So yeah, I just stuck that bit on and as I said, I will cover these with circles just to hide it. And then I also put on some more of the little diamonds just going up the ribbon there as I did with the bottom ones. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. Just hanging on your wall, that is gorgeous. Just a beautiful gift, especially for Mother's Day, but for any time really. So yeah, another tutorial with the famous bonnet card. <laughs> so thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.